Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at trimming content from a video that's already up on YouTube. We're looking at removing it from either end, the beginning or the end, or taking a piece out of the middle. Now the reason why you would want to do this is because you've got a video that's been up on YouTube for a period of time and you don't want to lose your viewing statistics, the number of views you have, your likes, your dislikes, your comments. The only other alternative you've got for editing a video would be to take the original offline, remove the content and fix it up and then re-upload it. But you can't upload it on top of the existing one. So you'd be uploading a brand new video and that's why you're going to lose all your existing content. So if you don't want to have to do that and you've got a video that's got problems, something that you need to remove, then this is how you'll do it. But just be aware too that you can't add content. So you can't slap a piece onto the end of a video, or shove something into the middle of it. This is only to remove existing content. So when you're ready to get started editing your video, you'll open it in the YouTube studio in the area where you can add your title descriptions and so on. That gives you access to the editor. We'll click on the editor. This opens the video up in the editing area. Here's our video timeline. Here's our audio timeline. You've also got tools that you can use to manage your ads. You can also manage cards and end screens and add a blur here. I'm not doing any of those, but we are going to run into a problem with my existing end screens, which I'll explain to you in just a minute. What we're going to look at first is trimming. So I'm going to click here on trim and there's a little blue box around the entire video. The trimming tool allows you to trim or remove content from either end of the video. So if I drag in here, this is actually dragging in the playhead. So you want to watch that because the playhead can get in the way. It's this bit that you need to drag in on to actually trim. And you'll see that this area is grayed out here and this area is not. So this is where the video is now going to start, if you like. Now you can also do it from the other end, but you want to make sure that you don't have end cards. And I'm going to get into trouble in a minute with the end cards. So I'm going to show you that. So let's just assume for now that we want to trim from the beginning. So what we would do once we've dragged in the trim line is we click preview and now we get access to save. And if we click save, we could save the video looking as it does. I'm going to discard my changes for now. Let's go back to trim and let's have a look at a problem which might occur when you've got end cards. Now, if I were to bring in this trim line to here, I'm going to get an error and it says that the element must be visible for at least five seconds. But what element? Well, the element that's causing problems is this end screen here. So if you've got end screens and you want to carve off or trim away a piece of your video that has end screens on it, you would be best advised to go and get rid of your end screens before you start and rebuild them later on. So that's why I'm getting this error. But if I bring it over so that my end screens are there for at least five seconds, then I'm not getting that error. So just be aware of that. So this is the tool that you use to trim from either end of the video, from the beginning or the end or both. So I'm going to clear this. There's another situation where you may want to remove a piece in the middle. And that's what I want to do here. For some reason, I've got four minutes of black space in the middle of my video. Don't know how it happened. It happened. Okay, so I'm going to bring my playhead across and I'm going to zoom in here so I can position myself so that the very last thing I have here is a frame that has content in it. I'll go to trim and I'm going to click on split and that splits it at the playhead. Now I'm going to drag across here and position it where I want it to start again. So what's happening is that this bit's going to be played this bit's going to be ignored and this bit's going to be played. That X is to undo the split. So don't think that that's going to delete the piece. It's not. That's going to undo all the work that you've done. So once you've got your split in place and you're happy with it, click preview. At this point, you can test it. So you can bring the playhead back, then hit the space bar to play it. And you'll find that it goes all the way up to this line, jumps over here and then plays over here. And if that's what you want to do and you're happy, just click save and that will save your changes. You're warned it might take a few hours for your changes to apply, but in the meantime, your viewers are going to see the video as it was. And since it's been up for four years with a big slab of black space in it, an extra few hours is probably not going to matter too much. So I'll click save. 
So that's how you can remove content from a video either from the beginning or the end or take out a piece in the middle of the video. And of course you would want to do that if you want to leave your video up on YouTube. You don't want to lose your views, your likes, your dislikes and your comments because that video would lose all of those if you were forced to pull it down, edit it and then put it back up again later. I hope this video has been of help to you in navigating the new YouTube studio in 2020. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.